Hey, what's up? This is Late Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and family guy. 2020, we're here. We're at the end. And what a year it has been. Wow. Who would have thought this on January 1st in 2020? I am here to highlight the good things, though. We need it. Now, there's no denying it's been a terrible year for all of us. And some of you watching may have lost a loved one, and I am very sorry about that. Some of you may have lost their jobs and are in financial trouble. A lot of us are coping with our mental health. You absolutely have my compassion. But in this vlog, I'd like to focus on the positive things that happened for us in general, but also in my life, both as an artist and as a human. So here's my 10 positive things from 2020 for you. Let's go in. Number one, I got married. Ashley and I got married on February 22nd on 2020, right before the pandemic happened. Being in the new world, it's strange to see the wedding party footage where I DJed myself for the last half hour and it looks like old world footage now. We had no clue that the world was going to shut down only three weeks later, but what a blessing to be able to have a normal wedding in this wild, wild year. Number two, a year of sleep. I've said it before, a DJ on tour only sleeps for about four hours average a day and this year was different with all the shows being cancelled and no touring for the whole year my sleep has been the best it has been since 15 years i had at least seven hours a day and i hope you understand why this for me as a dj was incredible to experience number three no traveling the no traveling this year was a big pro for me as well 2020 has made me miss it though but generally speaking, I don't like traveling. I love going places to perform and I'm thankful for that. But the actual travel itself is never very comfortable. It was amazing not to live out of my suitcase, for instance, for a year. Actually spreading my video and DJ gear out in my studio and leaving it there as I wasn't going anywhere. I am a producer at heart and started all of this when I was a teenager by just being locked up in my bedroom day day and night working on new tracks. So I love being home. I've always loved being home. Sorry, extroverts. And so this year there was plenty of that, but I'd also like to briefly touch base on all the news about nature perking up because of less cars in rush hour and less airplanes flying. That's a positive too. Number four, I didn't spend much money this year. I'm sure it has been the same for you, but my expenses this year have been very low. It saved a lot of money not being able to go out, to go out to eat, to go to the gym. I actually haven't bought any new clothes all year. We've tried to streamline our grocery expenses as well. And so overall, I'm thankful for the awareness that 2020 brought in light of spending money compared to what we would usually spend per month. And a quick shout out to our cheap little home movie theater setup as well. Just a very cheap projector, hooking it up to the Apple TV and a little studio monitor. And there we go. Feels like you're in the movie theater by just being in bed. Number five, plenty of studio time. Studio time, actually being in the studio to produce music was always luxury I never really had time for. Being on tour constantly, I would usually produce in airplanes, hotel rooms, and at the airports. It was really nice to sit at the same desk in the same environment with plenty of space around me this year. And I upgraded my studio space a little bit too. And honestly, I've always loved working in a studio environment. Even though my studio setup is super simple, just to have that constant, that's a dedicated space, was so nice this year. I also took the time to brush up my producer skills and learn a ton of new tricks in regards to mastering and cleaning up my sound, which I'm very happy with and I'm excited for you to hear my future tracks. Before we go on to number six, why I'm thankful for technology. First this, I'm celebrating the final Mix Mash releases of 2020 today as well. It was an incredible musical year for the label again, and we can't wait to come back even stronger in 2021. We've got so much planned already, but for now, Happy release day to Sox and Danik with both of their Dance It Off remixes that dropped today. Can't 
get enough of these two? Check it out via the link in the description and be sure to let us know what you think. Okay, so five more positive things about 2020 here in this vlog. Let's get back in. Number six, thankful for technology. How amazing has it been to dive in and out of Zoom meetings, to be FaceTiming and to be in touch with the family just like that? I've been so thankful for the technology this year. In January 2020, I couldn't have imagined meeting with people from all over the globe on these digital meetings. I actually didn't even want to attend my first digital meeting in the beginning of the year. I thought it was stupid and I didn't mind driving 25 minutes to meet in person. So the Zoom meetings have been great, but also being in touch with the family over Zoom, having Zoom dinners and birthdays. How convenient has it been just to pop in and out of a living room somewhere in a distant state or in a distant country without needing to travel hours and hours to actually reach them. My family are overseas. We have our family in Texas as well. Everyone is far away. And so we used to travel out to go see them personally. Of course, being there physically is so much better, but it's been a huge help being in touch like this with friends, family, and work. I've also noticed that when the numbers went down, Ashley and I would just still stay at home and attend events online as it saved properly getting ready and the sheer time to travel out for it. I wonder how much of that will stick into the new world. Everything has changed and I'm sure we'll see a lot of remote experiences continuing. I've happily been teaching my online Kung Fu students worldwide through Zoom as well. I would have never thought of that in the beginning of the year either. I've also joined a weekly Zoom group of people that are a Jesus-focused spiritual community for people involved with dance music. It's been such nice experiences and good to get in touch with them this year. Number seven, learning new things fast. Apart from brushing up my producer skills, I, or dare I say, we all of a sudden had to learn how to stream our DJ sets. For me, this resulted in starting to work with OBS and figuring out the recording and camera setup for that. I bought a green screen this year, which has been a huge help for not only my vlogs, but for my social media as well. And obviously most of us have become pros at setting up our camera and sound for video conferences now too. I'm sure your kids have become pros online as well with the homeschooling. Number eight, new avenues and new opportunities. What I've really been enjoying is doing sound at our church a few times per month. It's been awesome to work with the Behringer X32 mixer and mix down the live musicians for worship and our pastor's sound. Before this, the team sounded quite dry and now I'm glad to say they sound like a proper recording. I've been thankful to start my Zoom Late Night Luke show. It's been great to catch up and to be in touch with my fellow DJs through this. And this year I also started my new radio residency at Tomorrowland's One World Radio where I now host my Way Back Luke radio show. I'm having so much fun putting these shows together from start to finish. Number nine, how good was normal? I am thankful for the insight we got this year too. How it feels like to lose all normalcy this year. All the things we've always taken for granted. What was just normal to us? And this year was the year to pause and to f reflect on that. How strong is our longing right now for everything to go back to normal? Normal now is that light at the end of the tunnel we are in. And how grateful will we be when everything is back to good old normal? Another positive is that the whole world has pretty much experienced the same thing. We've all had this moment in history together. Number 10, looking forward to what's next. Keeping it positive in this vlog, I don't know when or how exactly, but there will be an ending to the pandemic and a bounce back and a bunch of people that have been locked down and are itching to go out and party again. I know for certain that when everything is safe again, the parties are going to be wild. This is what's up ahead and I truly believe it. And here's my question for you. What were the most amazing positive things for you in 2020? I'd love to read it in the comments below. Please share with us and spread that positivity. My next vlog will be all about my favorite tracks from 2020. 
hit that subscribe button right now to not miss out. And if you like this positive message in this vlog, make sure to hit that like button as well. And I will see you on the next one. Until then, Elza, rave safely and salute.